Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're unable to locate your Windows Memory Diagnostic Report. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu, type in Event Viewer, best result, should come back with Event Viewer. Go ahead and select that to open it up. And now on the left side, you want to double click on the Windows Logs folder. And then you want to select System. Go ahead and right click on that and select the Find button. Now you want to go type in Memory Diagnostics minus sign Results. Again, Memory Diagnostics minus sign Results. Select Find Next. And it'll go ahead and search the event viewer here. If there are any results, it should populate in this list up here. And then you can double click on them to view the detailed report. So it doesn't actually have any because we haven't run it yet, but there would be a list up here that would populate with all the applicable search results. So if you're still having an issue, you can attempt to open up the search menu, type in CMD. Best result should come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive the user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video, guys. First one is the system file checker utility. Go ahead and copy that from the description of my video. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it. Select edit and paste it in. Hit enter to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and copy and paste the second command in the description of my video. And then, like I said, go ahead and paste it into the command prompt here as well. Okay, so once that's done, proceed to close out of here, and then you want to restart your computer. I 
hopefully that was able to help resolve your problem. At this point, you can go ahead and open up Event Viewer after running the Windows Memory Diagnostic Utility again and see if the log file appears. So pretty straightforward. I do a positive will help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.